Hello everyone, this is Vikas from Small Academy and in this video we are going to build a note taking app using Android Studio. So let me show you the quick demo. Uh, here I have a demo app. Okay, so it is called as Note Me. And as you can see in the home page, you can see the list of notes that I have already created and it will have dates and time of the notes that was created. And here you can see the plus button. Using that, you can guess we can add the new notes. So, in the new notes activity, you can see the title and details field. Okay, the title, as you can guess, it will have the title of the notes. So, you can give the title like uh, title and the, let me call it as details. Okay, either you can discard the changes by clicking on the delete button or you can save the change here you can see the title is added okay so now you can perform few operation like edit the uh, notes or delete the note so if you click on edit icon you can edit this note edit and you can save this right or you can discard so if you want to delete it it's easy just go here and delete the hit the delete button and it will delete that note so for a backend, I have used SQLite database. So in this video, we will be learning about SQLite. If you are new to SQLite, don't worry. I'll be using SQLite as a uh, primary database, and we will learn the basic operation, like basic CRUD operation: create, read, update, and delete. So yeah, let's get started. Let's fire up the Android Studio. <laughs> Okay, let me start by creating new application. So here you can see Android Studio 3.4.2. So let me start new application. We are going to start with a uh, blank empty app activity. Okay, so click next. So here give the application name. In my case, that is Note Me. So I'm saving this in uh, desktop. So I'm using, uh, let me choose API 22 as my minimum level so that it can run on approximately 80.2 percent of devices so if you are you know if you want to use android x as a library you can tick this option otherwise if you are not familiar with android x library then you can check off this option and uh, click on finish so uh, it will build the application okay the application build is finished now i'm going to start by creating database for our note application so for database we need a database name table name and the column name that we are going to use inside the table right uh, you have seen the uh, demo application there you might have uh, noticed few things like dates times title and details of the notes right so we can say we need like four co column names for our table those are like titles content date and time and we also need primary key that is unique for every notes that i'm going to call as id okay so okay we'll discuss this again when we'll be creating the database so let me start by creating a class and call it as note database okay so this note database will extend the sqlite helper that is the root uh, class for our SQLite database and inside that we need to implement these two a method that is on create and on operate so let me explain what is on create so on create is called every time the node database is uh, you know instance of node database is created in the class or any class inside this application so inside this on create we are going to create our database so but before that you can see here uh, we are getting some error still okay so we need to create a constructor that matching the super constructor inside that uh, super uh, constructor we need to pass few things like context database name database person so let me start by creating the database person so let me create the private static variable and called the, uh, that will be string integer because that is database person so current version is 2 okay so oh that is integer so it is 2 and 
next thing we want is uh, static variable and database name okay so you can call this anything okay so i'm just going to call it as nodes tv and now finally we require database table okay so you can call this database table or anything else it doesn't matter and you can give the name i'm simply going to give the name as notes table okay yeah so these are the three things we require for our constructor so let me create the constructor for node database and we need to pass the context we are going to call these uh, node database from different uh, class so we need to pass the current context so let me import this first and call it as con uh, context so inside this we need to call call super okay so let me click on the red ball and insert the super and the super construct super will take few uh, argument as i said before that is context and database name and the null we need to pass null here because we are not passing anything for the cursor factory and uh, last one is database person okay so this will resolve that error now finally we can start creating our database before actually creating the database we need the information like column names okay so here i'm going to uh, specify the column names for database so here i'm going to specify the table column names for our database table so those are as i said will be id title content details and content details and time and date so that we can show the time and date of our notes okay so all these variables will be will be static variable so private static final and here we need to specify the key id that is id right oh, sorry i forgot the data type that is string so all our column names will be of type string so let me paste this few times to save time and call it as content and also replace this as content date date time and this one is also time so let me delete this okay actually forget the title so let me add title here okay so these are the column name we are going to need for our table so now we can we can start creating our database so if you are familiar with any uh, database management system you might already already know the command to create the database or delete the uh, command to create database tables delete the tables update the tables etc right so for you know quick revision i'm going to write this uh command that is used to create the table so it is create table and here we need to specify table name right and with table name we need to uh, specify the columns that we are going to use in the, that table so uh, generally one uh, primary key will be present in the every table so that we can identify every row of the, that table right so in my case id is the primary key so it is of type integer and i can specify by using primary key and other things are like title is there which will be of type text content is there that is also type of text uh, date text and uh, time is also text like keep in mind it doesn't matter you write in a, a capital letter or a small letter but you have to maintain the consistency okay don't write like this so create table table name okay 
so now uh, this is a command that we need to write in the form of you know java code so that we can uh, pass this command to our uh, sqlite database to create the table so let me do that so it will be of type string right a string i'll simply call it query and equals so it is a string so let me type create table and since we have already given the table name here so i'm going to use database table uh, variable right now we need to specify our uh, column name that we have also already declared above right so i'm going to use that key id and i need to specify the uh, data type and the constant right so that is integer is our data type and primary key is the constant that we are going to set in this variable okay so second thing that we need is title right so key title that will be of type text comma plus key content that will be of type text as well comma don't forget the comma and third one is date that will also be of type text comma plus key time that will also be of type text now we don't need to give that uh, comma at the end of the you know column names so our query will look like this now i can execute this query using db variable and execute query method i need to pass the query that is our query so uh, when this on create method is executed our database table will be created automatically okay if not already so uh, as you as we know in every activity uh, class we have this on create method and it is called every time when the database instance of that class is created right so whenever we call this node database a class or create the instance of this class the on create method will get executed right so uh, here you can see uh, on upgrade we need to check the current version of database so since you can see we are using uh, current version as two so if in the future if uh, you know a new version is available then we need to you know update our uh, database version okay so if new version is available that we need to check if old version that we have currently is greater or equals to new version that means we have the current version okay so we'll just return the control otherwise we will we will drop the table and we'll create the new table so db dot we need to execute the sql sql query and that query is drop table and whatever the table name if exist right if exist and then we'll give the table name so database name that we have already given sorry database table right okay this is the table name and we'll call the on create method and we'll pass the database all right so this will check the version of the database and it will drop the our current table if older version exists and it will create the new one okay now i'll start from the main activity in the main activity layout we need recycler view right so to display our list of nodes so for that we need to include a recycler view since i'm not using android x library i'm using older support version of library so i need to manually add all those libraries here so let me go to the builder gradle file of our app and here i'm going to include a uh, two library that is car view and the recycler view okay so I'm, i'll just copy this and paste below two times the first one is recycler view and the second one is car view now i need to sync this 
so that this library will be added to the project. Okay, the project is synced, so I can use this recycler view now. So let me uh, drag and drop this recycler view here. So um, let me set the constraint zero on the all the all side, and I'll also set this as match constraint. Okay, so now we can you start using this recycler view. Also, let me set the let's stop notes as the id of the recycler view okay since we are going to use app bar and we need to we need to modify the you know title of the app bar so it is better we use um custom toolbar so for that i'm going to add custom toolbar here uh, let me go to the text area and here i can add toolbar toolbar of Android version 7 support okay so make sure you are using support version 7 here and it is match parent and it will have height of action bar size okay so let me give a ID as toolbar and let me close this toolbar okay so here you can see the recycler view is you know kind of inside the toolbar so let me fix the constant first so i'll just remove the top constant here and uh, set the constant for to toolbar okay so uh, let me kind of resize this okay now i can set the toolbar constant here it is not setting no okay okay it is all zero zero now i can set the uh recycle view toolbar to the last of the toolbar okay so here like this okay so let me say the set the background color for our toolbar that is that will be color primary yeah that's it now we can start using this here uh, make sure this toolbar is of person 7 toolbar not android wz okay the toolbar is toolbar and i'll also ex access the recycler view here R C Y. Okay, recycler view. Recycler view. Mm. I can use set support method to set the toolbar for our current activity. Okay, I'll just uh, access. You know, I'll just set the resources for this recycler view first. So find UID R dot ID. Maybe I have called that as list of ID uh, notes or something. Yeah, list of notes. Okay. I want to create a menu so that we can add a um, new node to our um, database, right? To do that, first to create the options menu, I need to create one directory here. Um, sorry, inside the resource folder, create uh, Android resource directory. And here I'm going to select menu and you can click OK. It will create one a directory. And inside this, I can create menu resource file, add menu. Okay. So it will simply contain only one uh, menu item that is plus button. So that using that button, we can add new, you know, menu, uh, new nodes. So uh, it will be add button. So let me give. Uh, ID as add and we are going to use uh, we'll display this add button in our app bar so click on show as action and select uh, if room or always it's your choice okay so it will display here and instead of this text add I want to show a um, icon so that it will look much more better so for that I need to create one uh, icon and here um search for plus or add okay the add button is here so i'm gonna give the color as white so that it will look better next finish now go to icon section here and select the icon that we have just created okay so it will create uh 
this uh, menu in the app bar. The idea here is to click on this plus button and it will redirect user to the new activity where you user can add the new node. So for that we need to create new activity. So let me create the new activity, new empty activity. So let me call it as at add note. Okay. Click on finish. It will create the activity. Okay, the activity is created. Now inside this activity, I want to have fields to set the title and the details of the notes. So let me design that first. So go to activity add note. And here I need to specify the title and the details field. So for that we are going to use text uh, widget. So but before that we need to set our toolbar. Okay. So let me set the toolbar here. From activity main I'm just going to copy this toolbar and paste it into add note activity. So now here you can see the um, toolbar and I also need the same code so I'm going to copy it from here and let me close these things that are not required so here I'm going to paste the code to set the toolbar and I also need to create the toolbar uh, variable of toolbar okay so now um, our toolbar is set so let me create the you know uh, fields so I'm going to add plain text here so let me set the constraint to the bottom of the toolbar and it will have width of match constraint and it will have uh, you know let me give 16 dp of padding at the left and 8 is fine I think otherwise I'll just give 16 at the top and let me give 16 at the right and left okay so let me remove this name instead of this, that I'm going to give hint here so enter title okay enter title okay so now we okay now we need uh, another text field that that is for details so for that uh, we need multi-line text field okay so we'll be having you know multiple number of text there multiple line of code or uh, text so we need to specify the multi-line text here so let me give a math constraint as width and uh, let me set the constraint to the top and i'll just give like 16 to the top and 16 to the right 16 to the left so that it will look the you know matching to the title field so it will have a um, hint of enter details or i'll just say note details and here i'll just change it to note title okay that will be you know more appropriate i think so note title note details and let me fix the bottom constraint and it should have you know a match constraint okay so that it can it look better so uh, here in the background as you can see if you run this app and see in the emulator or in the device you can see this uh, you know border in the border bottom in this uh, no details text field so I need to remove this right it won't look good so I'll just remove it by setting the background so here it is background and I'll just set it at null okay so if you set it as null it will remove that uh, border bottom okay so now let me set that uh, node uh, ID for this both uh, text field so note title as a title ID and say yes and for this note detail, details Okay, so now we can operate uh, work with these two fields in the 
Java code. So let me open this add node class. Okay, let me set the resources for edit text uh, field. That is edit text, node title, and node details. Right. So let me set the resources for this node title. We'll have find view ID, added ID, node title is there. Sorry, node title as well as node details. Find view ID, added ID, node details. Yeah, that will see the um, resources for the node details variable. So far, so good. We have created a layout for you know add node activity so that we can add new node but now we need to actually create the data we need to connect our you know node activity to the database so that we can add new node to our database and retrieve the, those nodes from the database so for that first we need to have a data structure using which we can pass the data to the our database okay so for that i'm going to use a class called as node okay so our node class will have the variables that will hold the data from the you know uh, add node activity and it will you know it will pass the data to the sql edit light database so that we can store that database in the table so for that we need few things um, id we need id we need a title we need content data uh, date and the time okay so these are the fields that our note will have and we need to store that in the database right so i'm going to create few constructor so that we can pass the data from other activity so note constructor first one will be empty constructor so we can uh, it will make sure that we can simply create a you know instance of node class another constructor will have the uh, data like we need to pass data but without you know id okay so if we are inserting the data initially our data our node do not have any id okay once it get inserted into the table then it will have some id right that's why we are going to uh, we should be able to have one constructor without any uh, node ID in it. Okay, so just to pass the other content of the file. So let me uh, pass the title as a arguments string content string date, and the last one is string time and i'll set this to the uh you know variable that we have inside the node class so this the id sorry we don't have id title equals to title this that contain equals to contain this that uh, date to date this dot uh, time equals to time uh, this id will be of type long actually even a string is fine but you know since database is returning long value so we'll just make it as long okay so all these variable can be private prefix for security so i'll let me just do that Now I'll also create one more constructor which can take the um, ID. Okay, so long, sorry, ID and other things are same. So I'll just copy from here. And let me set those uh, pass data to our class variables. And the extra that we need to add is 
this that id equals to sorry this that id equals to id okay this uh, constructor is you know useful when we are editing our note or we are retrieving our note okay so uh, now we need to generate getter and setter so that we can uh, individually set the title content or individually retrieve the title content date okay from the database go to generate getter and setter select all these things and okay so it will set the getter and setter for us so these are the data structure that we need to retrieve or store the data into the database so now we'll use this node class to insert the data into the database or use this node class to retrieve the data from the database.